So this is how the Temuco would have made a canoe back then. They would have felled a fresh pine tree. They would have put wet sand up to the edges and then lit a fire on top. And as the fire burned down, they would have taken those oyster shells in there and scraped, scraped, scraped out the center. But the fire would also do something else as well. As the fire burned down into the canoe, it would drive all the pine tar to the outside. And when the pine tar hit that wet sand, it would waterproof the canoe. Pretty ingenious. Now this is what's left of a real Timucuan canoe that they found on the St. John's River. You can see it's in three pieces here, and the best way to think of it is kind of like a stand-up paddleboard. There would have been a notch at one end, and at that one end they would have put a torch, so it had a headlight on it. Pretty amazing, huh? Pretty amazing.